Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and we are living in times of isolation, of turmoil, of boredom. For a lot of people, if you don't have uh, much to do in your life, it's very easy to just go crazy. So you got to keep yourself occupied, and I would recommend doing it with a Minecraft mod pack or several. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install all of the Tekkit mod packs. We're talking Tekkit Classic, Tekkit Main, Tekkit Legends. Tech it to light, the one that I never actually did a series on yet. Is that a tease? Who can say? But we're going to go through all of those today and show you how to get them installed. Getting started, you're going to want to launch your internet browser of choice. In this case, we are going to use Firefox. And then you are going to want to go to the link in the description to technicpack.net slash download. Scroll on down here and you will find download links for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Now, I am recording this on a Windows PC, but the actual installation process is pretty similar across all three. So, this video should have you covered regardless of what you choose. Now, we are on Windows, so I'm going to click on the Windows option and choose Save File. Now, where this is saved will depend on how your computer is set up, but by default, it'll be in your Downloads folder. So, you can open the folder go to downloads and there it is or another option and this is true of most web browsers there's usually a download icon somewhere on the screen like right up here you can click on that it'll show you the technic launcher and you can either click on the technic launcher to launch it or you can click on the folder over here it'll take you to the folder you're going to, uh, to find the launcher contained in now the unique thing about the technic launcher is it's not going to install a program onto your computer per se Rather, this is the program. So you're going to want to put it someplace where you're going to know where it's at and can access it easily and it won't get deleted. I'm actually going to go ahead and move it to my desktop. Now, this isn't a necessary step, but it is a whole lot more convenient when you want to play your Technics to just have it right there on the desktop. So double click on it. And this is a good time to note that you will need a genuine Mojang account to do this. You have to own Minecraft and you have to be comfortable putting in your login information. A lot of people won't be, that's fine. What I will say is I have used a lot of launchers over the years, the Technic Launcher, FTB, Curse, Twitch, uh, the AT Launcher. I've never had any account security issues, but uh, your mileage may vary. So do whatever you're comfortable with. If you're like, nah, I don't wanna put my information in here, click the big old X button. Otherwise, put it in, click remember this account, and then click log in. Once you have logged in, you will be taken to this screen, and then all you gotta do is click on mod packs and uh, look at that tech at legends comes right up now any pack you could possibly want you can find by just typing it in right here uh, as you can see it brings up some of the more popular ones automatically so attack of the b team blightfall hexit and of course tech at legends if you want to find other versions of tech it just type it in there so let's say you want tech at classic there it is, right there. Just click install. Do you want Tech at Main? There it is. This is the one where you go to space. Click install. Tech at Light? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got Tech at Light. In fact, they might even have the old Technic packs. I'm not sure. Oh, darn it, they don't. So the old single player Technic packs are what came out before Tech it. Doesn't look like they're on here. I'm sure they're somewhere on the net, though, but yeah. Type in Tekkit. Now, these are your officially supported ones. You got your Tekkit Legends, your Tekkit Classic, your Tekkit, also called Tekkit Main, where you go to space, and your Tekkit Lite. And then you get into some, some other unofficial ones, TCR Classic Refined, which I never actually played, but I did play TCR uh, Classic Reborn, which I think is probably still available. Uh, Texit 3 is a really good one. I don't believe it's official, but it's Keeping updated, I mean, it says official, but I don't mean, I don't think it's created by the Technic team. Uh, a lot of these are created by the community, but uh, I played Texit 2. It was great, and this one is being kept up to date. As you can see, most recent update was three days ago, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, now, there's a few more things you might want to know before you, you hop into your packs. So let's go ahead and start installing. Oh, you know what? I never played Techit Lite. Let's install that one. And while it's downloading, we're going to go ahead and delete that, and you'll see that it now appears over here with our default uh, mod packs. If you go up here to mod pack options, you can make a few different choices about how you want the mod pack to launch and load. And there you go. I had to click it a couple of times. You can choose your recommended version, your latest version, specific version. You can change your install file. You can re reinstall it. You can delete it. And then if you have up here launcher options, 
This is where you can do even more fun things. For instance, you can go over here to your Java settings and you can change how much memory it uses. Now I have eight gigabytes assigned, which is an obscene amount. If you're playing a pack by itself, you'd be good with like two gigs or four gigs. A general rule of thumb is don't use more than you actually have in your system. So if you only have two gigs of RAM, I'd say use about one. If you have four, assign two. If you have eight, assign four. And then really, there's no reason to go above that. Maybe if you add some really thick and heavy uh, texture packs, you might want to go a bit higher. But the only reason I have eight is because there's 16 gigs of RAM in this computer. And why not? Uh, will it ever actually saturate that much memory? Probably not. Uh, you can go over here to your video settings and you can choose whether it launches in the default size or go straight into full screen. When you launch, you can uh, change the sizes over here so you can go to custom dimensions. Right now it's the default 800 by 600. And uh, yeah, some really cool stuff you can do here. And that completes our tutorial today. And there you have it. That's how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. There's a ton of cool stuff in there. The old Yog box is in there. Hack slash mine uh, is in there. And that's a really good one. And uh, yeah, I strongly recommend you just look through there and see what you find if you, if you decide not to play a Tekkit. I think that Tekka Classic Reborn or TCR Reborn is still in there. And that's a good one. Uh, yeah. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Bye.